everyone! Today we're going to be talking about transformations. There are four different types. There's reflection, rotation, uh, dilation, and translations. And today I wanted to give a real world application or example of them. So next year I'm going to be learning to drive. And driving can be an example of translations. Translations is where you just, an object or an image moves across a grid, just straight across or straight up over an axis. So see, not so bad at driving now. But that was an example of translations. Let's move on to the next one. So next we're going to be talking about dilation. Uh, an example we have is this little pond at Dutch Brands Park. Uh, earlier this week we had some flash flooding which caused there to be to add water to this pond causing it to become bigger or swell in volume. That is a form of dilation. It's whenever an object or a shape becomes bigger or smaller. Next we have rotation. So if you were to divide this tire swing into a grid or four quadrants and when you turn it, it would become an example of the transform or the transformation of rotation. So, like I said, when you turn, it's I'm still the same, uh, same position and everything. And when I'm turning, it's just I am at a looking at a different place and a different position. The last transformation we have is reflection. Reflection is where an image or an object is reflected onto something else or uh, over an axis, axis of a grid, like the symmetry of your face. So if you were to draw a line in the mid, uh, down your face in the middle, your right side and your left side would be a reflection of each other. Um, this can also happen in a mirror like objects to your right would be on the, technically if you were to stand against the mirror the left or like something reflecting into a lake or some sort of body of water that is a reflection well that is all today those were transformations and real world applications or examples well it's time for dinner and i gotta go bye